We're with Alabama Care, and my name is Alex, and this is Gene. Um, and we are going to be talking a little bit today. Um, right here. Okay. We're going to be talking a little bit today about sibling relationships. Um, now, Jane has, I'm going to let Jane introduce herself. Well, my name is Jane Bosler, and Bridget is my sister. She is um, she's my sister. I don't know what else to say other than that, but she does have cerebral palsy, and um, she is profoundly impacted intellectually. Um, a little bit, just so you know where I'm, I'm coming from. I've been in the special ed field for 37 years as a special ed teacher. I am married, and I have three children. They're grown. Um, two of them are already married. And... Um, I don't know what else do you want to know about me in that aspect. Uh, so um, Jane is my aunt um, for people that wouldn't know that. And um, she's very active in Bridget's life all the way through and still to this day, very active. Um, and it's a real team effort um, to make sure that Bridget, you know, continues living a great life. And I'd like to thank Jane um, for being a huge part of that. So, um, okay. So we'll kind of dig in here. Uh, you already mentioned that you are in the special ed, so do you, are you in Alabama or? I am currently living in Georgia and I started my career in Illinois and followed my husband with his job to Georgia, but I've been in special ed for since 1980, so. And you are um, pretty soon, uh, I heard you're retiring. I am. I know you're retiring. This is I'm... my last year and I will be retiring at the end of this school year. Looking forward to that time, but I also know I will continue working in the field. So that's awesome. She's uh, deserved it many times over. And then um, when you retire, are you planning on staying in Georgia or? We will be moving to Mobile, Alabama, uh, which is where my daughter. Roll Tide, Roll Tide. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll have to change from Bulldogs. Uh, but that's where my daughter and her family live. And my sister lives across the way as well. Awesome. So family all the way around uh, being close by. And you mentioned you have three kids. Um, of course, Chris is your oldest. He's my cousin. Um, he's, what's like, a couple years older than I am? Two years older than I am? I think so. I'm 32. I think he's 34, yeah, 35. I think he's 35, but I lose track of it. Yeah, and then um, Meg, she's my cousin as well. She's a month older than I am, so she was born in June. I was born in July. Yeah, she was born in May. Was she really? <laughs> she yeah. was. I thought she was like June 3rd. No. So she's got a little bit more than a month on me. Yeah. She's got like a month and a half on me then. Um, and then uh, Steve, um, also uh, her son, is Steve is a couple years younger than he, I am. He's 29, yeah. Um, so, and then um, kind of uh, growing up. Now, I know a little bit of history there, but you are the oldest daughter of a military family. I am. Um, so that, that provided a lot of, um, I'll say adventure, but opportunity to kind of explore the world there. Um, you got to, you know, see a lot of different uh, parts of the United States and the world. Uh, where are some of the places that you've lived? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> At one point, I counted that I had attended 13 different schools. Um, that includes the different colleges. And I thought everyone moved every two or three years. I didn't know people actually um, settled down and stayed in one spot. I, you know, Intellectually, I knew that, but emotionally, I just wasn't there. So we lived, uh, I was born in Germany. We went back for second tour when I was in junior high, middle school, whatever you want to call it these days. Um, lived in New York. I <coughs> lived in Pennsylvania, Virginia, Georgia, uh, Illinois. So pretty much all over down the East Coast. Yeah. Are you doing West Coast? I never heard of any West Coast, actually. No, that would be more Navy or something. Yeah, it was mi uh, Midwest over to the East Coast and then Germany. Born in Germany, guys. Pretty cool. 